everyone, Lisa Freeman here with StampingWithLisa.com. I'm going to show you a cute little Christmas um, gift card holder that I made. And you could really make these for anything. Um, I like doing them at Christmas because I give a lot of gift cards at Christmas. Um, and it's just a cute little thing instead of just putting it in a card. So this is what the front looks like. And then when you open it up, this is the inside. And I made it out of an envelope. And you just put the gift card right in here. In that little slot so it's really easy to make so let me show you how I did it so first thing you're gonna need is a Stampin Up envelope this is the medium white one and all you do is fold it in half and oh where's my bone folder here we go just get your bone folder and give it a good crease and then you're gonna open it back up and you're going to cut it right here, right on that crease, down to the score line. And then this piece, um, I usually just glue it down with tape, because um, I'm not much of a licker for that stuff. So let's just tape that side down. And then this side, I'm just going to trim off just a little sliver, so that it doesn't get all bulky in there. So I just trimmed off just a little bit. Okay, so now this is the front, and this is the inside, so I've got that little flap. And then I'm also just going to cut off this little sticky part here. So you can do it with your cutter, or I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. There, that looks pretty straight. Okay, so let's start our stamping. Um, besides the envelope, you're going to need a piece of Soft Sky, and this one is four and one eighth by two and five eighths. So kind of odd measurements there, but, and then the this is actually not white cardstock. It kind of looks like white cardstock, but if you look really closely, you can kind of see the um, embossing on it. And that is the um, fancy frost paper. So let me go ahead and show you, before we get started, some of the products we're using. So. This is the Holiday Mini catalog, the Stampin' Up! Holiday Mini. Um, we're using on page 9 the Star of Light stamp set and the Starlight Thinlets dies. And this is the one that I'm using, the die. So I went ahead and punched that out ahead of time in the silver um, foil paper. And I love these. They're so cute. And then um, we're also using... Um, Let's see. That's it. That's the only thing we're using from that. I thought we were using a stamp from here, but that's okay. Um, so just the um, die. And then on page 13, no, 15, we're using this stamp set here, the Hang Your Stocking, and I'm just using the Merry Christmas from that one. And then on page 33, I'm using the Surprise. <clears throat> this is Tin of Tags. I'm using that stamp, the Surprise and the Snowflake, um, and that's all that page. And then on page 37, this is the paper I was talking about, the Fancy Frost Specialty Designer Series paper. And it looks kind of plain in here, but if you look closely, it is already embossed for you. So there's different patterns in there. There's stripes, and there's like a pine one. Um, it's actually kind of hard to see it. Um, there's like a little checkered one. And then the one I'm doing is kind of like snowflakes, but it's not quite. But you'll see it when I um, sponge it. It'll kind of pop out. And then I'm also using this um, glitter ribbon that's on page 37, too. So those are the products. Let's get back to the stamping. So this is that fancy frost paper. And what I'm going to do is just sponge it with some soft sky. So just lightly do it, and I always like to tap off first, and I just kind of lightly swirl it on here and see what happens. Can you see that? It just kind of makes it pop. So now you can see the design that's on there. So I'm not doing anything to this paper except sponging it. And I always like to stamp, uh, when I take a sponge and dip it in here, just kind of do it on your scrap paper, just because you don't want that blob when it first 
especially if you've just re-inked your pads, then it's really going to make a mark on it. So, Alright, so that's all you need to do. So now it's got this um, pop of blue on it. And then we're going to um, stamp the inside of our envelope with snowflakes. Oh, you know what? Let me do the words first. That'll be easier. I love when I do these videos and I have no script and I just kind of go and, you know, go along and think about what I need to do at the last second and then change my mind and you never know what you're going to get. So, um, whenever I use these photopolymer stamps, I like to put um, a cushion pad underneath it. So, I'm going to put that on here. And this is the Smoky Slate, I think. Yep, Smoky Slate. So I'm going to stamp the surprise on this little flap where the um, the gift card's going to go. And I'm going to do it like catty corner at this time. Oh, that came out terrible. Hmm. Okay, so... Okay, I had a little oops there, so I had to stop the tape and start again. So, anyway, we just did this surprise stamp on there, and then I'm going to move that to the side for a second and do the um, Merry Christmas. I'm going to do that on scrap paper and punch it out. And then this is the punch upside down. I think this is decorative label punch. I always call them the wrong name so I'm pretty sure it's decorative label. Alright so that's it for the gray or the smoky slate. Now we're going to go back to the blue and we're going to do the um, snowflakes on here. So this is my um, snowflake that I did stamp in red one time and what happens with these photopolymer stamps is if you use red it dies at that color. It doesn't happen with any other color but red so it is clean but you just can't tell. So you're just going to stamp this on here. Oops. And I'm just kind of turning it all around. Oops. All right, so there's the inside done. And then I've got another little teeny snowflake stamp. And I'm just going to kind of fill in with that one. kind of all over. Okay, so that's the inside done. And then um, on the words that I had just punched out, I'm going to put a couple little snowflakes here too. So there you go. All right, so that is pretty much it for stamping. And then we just have to put it together. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. So these two pieces are just going to get um, glued together. I can't remember if I gave you the measurements. If I didn't, let me just do it again. This one is actually four by two and three quarters. So put those two together. All right, then on our um, envelope, oops, I got a little bit of ink on there. That's all right. Okay, so let me measure this piece for you. The ribbon, this is that glitter ribbon. It is about 15 and a half to 16 inches. So we're gonna put that on here first before I glue the front down. So I just wanna get it folded in half and then kinda lay it down. Put some tape under here and then lay it back down. And that's not gonna show because the other piece is gonna be on top of it. And then flip it over. You're not going to see this. And then put that there. Alright, so then this is going to be the front. And I'm just going to put um, dimensionals on the back of that. And peel those suckers off and then put this down. Oops. It's hard to get this straight if you can't lean over, and I don't want to get my head right in the middle of the camera. 
Okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to put this on with dimensionals also. So this is going to go on the bottom. And then the star, I'm going to put on with a glue dot. So right in the center, let's put a glue dot. And then one more thing, a little rhinestone. Right in the center there, oops. And we are all set. Now just tie a bow. And you're all finished. Don't forget to put your gift card in there before you do this. Okay. So there you go. And isn't that cute? Let me put it close up so you can see it. I just think that's so cute. So who wouldn't love getting a gift card in that package? I hope you enjoyed my video today and thanks for stopping by. And if um, you want to see more details, just stop uh, by my blog, stampingwithlisa.com. 